Hey there YouTube fans, how you going? This is the third video I'm doing today because I like to set up this equipment one time and do a bunch of videos. Um, now, this is the new Canon 90D, which is great. Um, okay, psoriasis. All right, I've done a few videos on psoriasis because my psoriasis is out of control at the moment. And, you know, one of the videos that I did recently was the link between psoriasis and hormones. I think I mentioned about it. Now, here's a really interesting thing. I had my estrogen tested the last couple of days and I just came back from the doctor and you know what it's high it's high because I'm on testosterone replacement therapy it's a long story I've got other videos about that but here's the interesting thing my estrogen levels are high and there is a link between high estrogen levels and bad psoriasis flare-ups so uh, this is in men well I don't know about in men and women. I know the studies have been in women, but I'm just saying that I've got this really bad flare up and uh, my estrogen levels are very high. And I, I started to think about what have I done differently? Why is this suddenly for the last several months out of control? And one of the things I've been doing differently has been taking less aromatase inhibitor. So that blocks the testosterone turning into um, estrogen in a guy or in a woman it lowers the amount of estrogen now I, I haven't been taking as many tablets and uh, I don't know if it's related but I'm going to start taking those tablets again I'm going to take um, aromacin which is exomethacine if you pronounce that correctly the brand name is aromacin. I have done other videos on this topic before and I'll see if that helps. Um, the other interesting thing is I'm actually doing the phototherapy at the hospital so you you get enclosed in the basically looks like a big tanning booth and they bombard you with UVB rays for about 30 seconds so I've been doing that. Um, Anyway, I don't care what works, as long as it works, as long as something out of that works. Um, the concern to me is about the phototherapy, is that it can increase your chances of skin cancer. And look, they've already cut something out here. They cut a mole out here, which I'm concerned about. I don't have the results back yet. <sighs> um, they cut that out before they started phototherapy. Anyway, guys, I just want to put that down, something to think about. There is this relationship between hormones and psoriasis flare-ups. And the weird thing or the diagnostic thing or the interesting thing is, in my case, my psoriasis is flaring right up like I've never seen in my life before. And my estrogen levels are really high, really high, 243, I think it was. Now, the maximum a man should have in this country in our system is 165. Now, that's, um, that's a different system to the American system. So, but in the Australian system, it's something like 70 to 165, something like that is the range. I'm not sure of the, the lower number, but I know 165 is the, is the top range for men. And mine is 243. So that can't be useful. It's not useful for blood sugars. My blood sugars are out of control. It's not good for um, appetite, putting on weight, holding water, um, uh, fatigue, and, and it uh, reduces the efficacy of your testosterone. So um, uh, the blood sugars, I don't know if I mentioned that already, but my blood sugars are out of control, especially in the mornings. So um, apparently if your testosterone is working good, right, it can, your muscles will uptake the glucagon, or glucagon, glucagon, I think it's glucagon or glucose, one of those, uh, it'll uptake it better. 
so it becomes more efficient um, at using your blood sugar so it will lower your blood sugar um, but look with anything I'm not your doctor I'm a qualified social worker and a few other things check with your doctor before you do anything I hope this information was helpful to somebody out there just thought I'd get it out there in the world okay guys take care, take care. God bless like comment subscribe teach us out out please like comment subscribe and donate thank you